Uh, I'm trying really hard this year to not go crazy and buy a bunch of yarn for everybody's presents this December, but I'm struggling. This one is probably up there with one of my like very highly requested videos just based off the comments I've been seeing, but I figured December is like the perfect time to release this video because we are all trying to make our Christmas gifts and I personally am trying not to go buy a bunch of yarn to make Christmas gifts. I'm really, really trying to use what I already have stowed because you all know how it goes. You're like, I'm only going to buy yarn for what I'm going to make. And then you're like, this yarn's cute. This yarn's on sale. Oh, I want to make something with this. And then you just start buying yarn. And then before you know it, you have a bunch of yarn just sitting and collecting dust and not, not doing anything with it. So this year... I'm using my yarn to make gifts and you are too. That's why this video is 50 stash buster crochet ideas. So if you're new to crocheting, you're probably like, what, what's a stash buster? Okay. My understanding of a stash buster is something either a, something that just takes a lot of yarn to make B something that doesn't take specific colors okay see if you have like a little bit of red and a bunch of green and like a tiny bit of blue and some yellow like you could put it all together and it'll still look good so you're just trying to get rid of stashes of yarn you don't know what to do with but you're tired of looking at okay that's what a stash buster pattern is so that's what we're doing today we're getting rid of our stashes. So before we jump into it, everything I say, as always, is listed in the description box in the order that I said it, linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial so you can make whatever I'm showing you, okay? So with that being said, we have a couple categories. We have accessories, blankets, bags, decor, stitches, and clothing, okay? We've got six categories, which is a lot, which is the most I think I've had in a video before. So that's kind of fun, exciting. Um, but before we jump right into the first category, I just want to shout out mine and Dylan's podcast. If you need something to watch while you're crocheting your gifts this year, something to entertain you, it's a video podcast, not an audio pod, not an audio only, it's video. You got something to watch, entertain you, have some laughs, go check it out, go subscribe. It's linked down there. Okay. Now for the first category we have is accessories. Now, this one's kind of fun because while looking for accessories for this video, I stumbled across this Miu Miu scrunchie and immediately I was like, what? Also, I do know that crocheting is becoming more popular as a hobby, but also like in fashion or like in stores. So I'm not like that surprised, but I'm also like, girl, do not buy that Miu Miu scrunchie, okay? Make your own, make your own. So you can make this scrunchie that is literally plucked off the Miu Miu website. Um, you can make this scrunchie and obviously it's random yarn. And this is the point of this video. So you can make that. You can also make these flower keychains. You obviously don't need a lot of yarn for these. So if you have random colors, it's good to get rid of the little extra bit you have left. You can make some striped AirPod cases. All of these can also be Christmas gifts if you haven't made Christmas gifts yet, okay? You can make a granny square pouch. Now, the difference between this and another one is like the smaller squares allow you to not have a lot of that color. So, only two rounds on a granny square. You don't need that much yarn. So, if you have like little balls of yarn or little stashes you're trying to get rid of, that's a good one. You could also make striped fingerless gloves with whatever yarn you have, obviously. And these fun little like fish keychains, they kind of look like fidgets too, but super cute, super unique. Uh, it's the first time I'm seeing them, so I'm adding them into this because they're colorful, they're fun. And that's all I have for that category, so let's jump into the blanket category. So I have a couple blankets for you. We've got this bulky mermaid blanket. Now, I mostly picked this one because I wanted to remind you all, you can double strand triple strand if you're really trying to get rid of yarn okay so that's a good example um if you have kids that's kind of like a fun little one to make to get rid of yarn you can make a mixed stitch stripe blanket or even a scrap yarn blanket like this one or back to the basics make a granny square blanket okay your rows will just be however many colors depending on how much yarn you have of that you know what i mean so it's a fun funky all of them still look cute even though they're all scrap yarn so 
I love blankets. They're good. And then you can like work on it as you go and kind of put it to the side. And then if you have a little yarn left that you can't really do anything with, add to the blanket. You know, it's fun for that, that style of getting rid of yarn. That's all for blankets. So let's jump into the bag category. So we've got this sand dollar beach bag. I kind of love a drawstring bag. So that's fun. And if it's like a beach bag, it's, it's your scrap yarn. It's not your like expensive yarn. You know what I mean? Um, you can make this scrap yarn basket either as like a tote or to hold the yarn you end up buying after you scrap yarn all your stuff. Um, you can make this fun striped water bottle holder with your leftover yarn or this granny stitch like Cheshire bag. I'm in love with this bag and I will be making it and it is being added to the list of things I want to crochet. I love it. You can make this like three granny square style bag. I see them everywhere. I've never made one but like the more I see it the more I want to. So that's cute. You can make this striped um like horizontal striped bag or even this vertical striped bag it's been a while since i've seen a vertical striped crochet bag so that one's fun you can make a free form crochet bag like this one when you're really just trying new stitches trying new appliques just really having a blast with it not really caring what it's going to look like in the end because in the end it's going to look like that like beautiful gorgeous you know um and then there's this circle stash buster bag that you can also make so that's all the bags. Let's jump into decor, which always happens to be my favorite category. So we've got these fun crochet jar covers. As always, those are good. You can even make like jar lids like these. Are they lids? I guess like covers, lids. Um, those are fun. You can make these chair socks if your chairs are scraping up your floors. You can also make this scrap crochet um, like dish towel for your kitchen. You can make this fun pouch, or not pouch, it's like a thing to sit on. Poof, pillow, cushion, cushion. Um, I actually have this on my list and I've had it on my list to crochet for a very long time now and I haven't gotten around to it because it's a big project, but I do want to eventually make one of these. You can also freeform crochet some rugs like this or make smaller versions and make coasters. Now, this one I thought was kind of unique. It's like a striped clock cover. If you need a clock cover i mean you can make it that's always fun you can also make this crochet curtain you know fun colors fun stitches a lot of like freedom with it a lot of just getting rid of yarn which is the goal with all of these in this entire video you can make some fun cute candle covers or jar covers you can make some checkered coasters or even this bow garland oh my this bow garland Ah, I'm making it. I'm like the moment this is over. I'm making it. I want it for my room I'm obsessed with bows right now. Like literally everybody else. I'm not unique, but I want this for my room I want it and it's such a good gift. Okay, because I'm posting this in December I don't know if it's gonna be up before Christmas But if it is you should make these for your, for your friend who started wearing bows recently because it is Adorable. Okay. I love it. You can also make some framed crochet art. Okay. You can make granny square lampshades like this one. You can even make a curtain out of a granny stitch or some like fun, funky circle coasters. You can make pot holders out of, you know, little granny squares. You can make a jewelry hanger um, organizer or even some flower garland or some fun, funky pot holders, okay? Just just get rid of yarn. That's the goal here. The yarn's just been sitting there. Now, that's all for that category. Our next category is stitches. Now, there's not a lot in this category, but the goal of this category was basically just to show you some stitches that take a lot of yarn to do. So, if you're like, girl, I don't really have like a project, I just need to know what stitches take a lot of yarn. This is your category. So, you can make a shell stitch done projects with shell stitches eight through my yarn that's a good one um there's this shell stitch and then there's a sequin stitch which is also like a scaly stitch too um you can make this like arcade stitch again a huge freaking yarn eater and then also just another reminder you can make blankets or rugs or things by triple stranding or even four strands i've crocheted with six strands before to make a rug that's a really good way to get rid of yarn is by just going up in hook size and adding the strands i feel like for a while i didn't realize you could do that till i saw someone else do it so this is me being that someone else doing it to show you how okay 
And that's all for stitches, so let's go into our final and best category of clothing. You can make a stash buster shawl. If shawls aren't your thing, you can make this top, okay? It's adorable. You can make a scarf like this one or even this top, which is kind of giving like 70s vibe. I'm loving the low cut, the big sleeves. It's simple and it would look good with like any color. You can do a granny square balaclava or even some leg warmers, either normal leg warmers or flared leg warmers, whatever, just with your leftover yarn, obviously. And then there's this scrap yarn top. I kind of love it. It's like a halter top. Or you can make this long skirt. And it's just like, it looks so like unique with the different random color changes. I love it. Okay. Love it. So that is all I have for you for your stash buster needs. Hopefully I was able to help you. If not, I can make another one. Just let me know in the comments. Um, but friendly reminder, everything I said is listed in the description box below link to a paid or free written or video tutorial. So you can make whatever I'm showing you. If you're looking for the picture that I showed you, they're all on a cohesive Pinterest board. That Pinterest board is also linked down below. If there's anything else you want me to do that I haven't done before on this channel, comment it down below. I'll add it to the list. If you want to follow me on other social medias, they're down there. If not, no worries. And other than that, check out the podcast and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!